and our air car is finished. To test your air car, to make it a fair test, we are always going to wind up our car 75 times, not more, not less. To be consistent and to make a fair test, if we all choose 75 times and you choose 75 times each time, you'll know what, you, you know, if you change your wheels and you wind it up 75 times and it goes twice as far, well, you know that your wheel improved your car. If it doesn't go as far, then you know it didn't improve your car. To wind up your car and test how it goes, grab onto the straw at the top and use your finger and you're going to twist counterclockwise, that's the opposite direction that a, count, that a clock goes, 25 times. See how when I let go it unwinds? Start counting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Okay, hold on to the car. Don't let it unwind. When you set it down, you'll see that this, you know, this is pulled pretty tight. When you set it down, all you have to do is let go and the propeller will push your car along the floor. Okay. For the challenge, you need to make a car that goes 10 squares along the floor. That's approximately three meters. The racetrack is three meters long. Make sure before you give up building your prototype that you build a car that can travel three meters. That is 10 of these squares. This went more than that. This car is an A-plus car, and it's just the prototype. That's not meaning it's perfect. This car can be improved, but as a prototype, it's a very, very good start. Okay. This car, on the other hand, let's go ahead and tape our propeller on. It's not going to work. It's not going to go anywhere. There's been lots of mistakes that we've made along the way here. So many mistakes, in fact, that tape this too close. So what's going to happen when we try to spin this is the propellers are going to hit the wheel. It's very ugly. Let's put our paper clip in the front. Let's attach our rubber band. And try to spin this sucker up 25 or 75 times. It's not going to be easy. The propeller is hitting the wheels. This is hitting the front. I could probably fix that just by bending it over a little bit. But yeah, the wheels are going to cause us some problems here. I'm winding it up the wrong way. Troubleshooting often if you do everything with your car and it looks perfect. Huh. Not going to work. You do everything with your car and you do it perfect. Make sure that you're spinning it the right way. Maybe you folded your wing, your propeller the wrong way. This is what happens if you spin it the wrong way. I'm going to spin it 75 times to the right counterclockwise. This is wrong. I'm spinning it counterclockwise instead of counterclockwise. Okay, and now when I let go, it kind of wants to go backwards, actually. Okay, it's not going forward. I wound up the car the wrong direction. So make sure you spin it the right way. So that is an air car. Those are all the steps. When you are done, if you follow them, the steps correctly, your car should look almost exactly like this prototype and should easily go three meters.